Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break. My name is Klaus Lauter and I'm an e-commerce growth advisor and business coach for businesses and brands that are using Shopify's e-commerce platform. And yes, I also like coffee. Each week you're going to get actionable advice, strategies and tips to optimize your online store and e-commerce business. So let's get started. Hey Klaus here with another episode of the e-commerce coffee break. This time I want to talk about the 80-20 rule and how you can streamline your e-commerce business with it. So let's dive right into it. First of all, the 80-20 rule is also known as the Pareto principle. It was developed in 1906 by a guy called Wilfredo Pareto. And the idea was that roughly for 80% of all, they are coming from 20% of the courses. So this concept has been applied to various different areas and business and health and obviously in e-commerce. So I want to go into and see how you can optimize your online store or your online business overall with the 80-20 rule. So give you some ideas here what where the 80-20 rule might apply in your business. One example, for instance, that 80% of your sales will come from 20% of your website visitors. Another one that 80% of your sales will come from 20% of your products. 80% of your sales will come from 20% of your target locations. 80% of your return on investment will come from 20% of your marketing campaigns. 80% of your traffic will come from 20% of your marketing activities. And 80% of your business results or success overall will come from 20% of the time invested. And finally, 80% of your customer complaints will come from 20% of your customers. So you see there's uh, various areas where you can basically work with the 80-20 rule to optimize your business. So now let's go and um, give some examples here. So let's say 80% of your sales will come from 20% of your website visitors. Now, once you know that, then you can basically work on your targeting and fine tune your targeting that you get more website visitors of that specific group of these 20% that bring you 80% of your sales and just get more for them. That overall will increase your revenue in your business. Another one, easy to apply, is 80% of your sales will come from 20% of your products. Now, if you dive into your store and into your reports and statistics, you will easily find out which products fall under the 20% that generate 80% of your sales. So you would want to use these products and bring them front and center on your store. So your 20% best-selling products or products that bring you most of the sales and revenue, they should be really prominent on your store, on your homepage, in your category pages, and so on and so forth. In your marketing, you want to really highlight these 20% of products. The best is to go really into your stats, into your Shopify store, and see what you have sold in the last 3, 6, or 12 months, and then give the same order, for instance, as an overview in your category or collection pages. So you always want to have your best-selling products, and obviously the ones with the um, highest profit margin, on top of your collection page that will possibly give you a instant boost in revenue and average order value next one 80 percent of your sales will come from 20 percent of your target location so if you're selling in the united states there might be certain states that are bring you more sales than others particularly in my own business in my own store i'm talking about texas i'm talking about florida i'm talking about california these are the states that bring me the most business so again you want to dive in there and google analytics will be your friend there and find out where is the most of your revenue coming from and then focus your marketing activities, your Facebook ad targeting, your Google ad targeting, specifically on these states, or if you're selling worldwide, specifically on these countries. Another one, 80% of your return on investment will come from 20% of your marketing campaigns. Now there you want to dive in, not only specifically on one platform, saying you will look into your marketing campaigns on Facebook ads and see which one works best and then focus on these ones. But overall, on all marketing channels that you have, you might have marketing channels that just perform much, much better, where you then can assign your overall marketing budget in a different way. So basically, you would then go and assign 80% 
of your marketing budget to 20% of your marketing campaigns. And then obviously with that 20%, you will get 80% of your return on investment, if that makes sense. When it comes to time management, same here. So when you look into your workday and where you focus your time on, you will find out that 20% of your time will give you 80% of your results. So you really want to cancel or outsource the tasks in your workday that are not giving you the results and focus on these 20% and then increase the time that give you the 80% of results in your business. So really, really sort it out, concentrate only on uh, the things that really give results in your business time-wise and work on these and get rid of all of the other ones. Now, then obviously the last one that I have here on my list is that 80% of customer complaints come from 20% of your customers. Obviously, that's on service level. You always want to make sure that you attend all kind of complaints, but you want to see that these 20% of your customers that give you the most complaints, they probably love your business, but they don't or your products, but they're just not happy with something in the process. So if you're focusing, focusing on these um, 20% of complaints and um, then try to to resolve them in your business, you might get a overall better business delivery for your business, for your store, which then again will have a positive um, impact on um, revenue and sales. So what you should do is each of these categories that I just went into, start with a review, have a look and really see where are you seeing the most results and then start to work your way from there. Create a list of these results, of these activities that makes it easier and then prioritize the 20% and don't stress too much about the 80%. So when it comes to the 20% of your products that give you 80% of your sales, all your marketing, all your activities, everything you do on these 20% of products and don't stress too much about the other 80%. And then obviously focus on one revenue generating activity each day. You cannot do them all. So you need to wake, work your way through all these different levels of the 80-20 rule. But if you do that, you will see a massive improvement in your business, in your sales, in your revenue, in your conversions, and also in your time management. So that was just a quick overview of the 80-20 rule. If you want to learn more about that and you are interested in mentoring for e-commerce businesses, then send me a message and I get you all the details. That's it for this time. Hope you had a great day and see you next e-commerce coffee break. Have a good one. Hey, Klaus here. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, and not sure what to do next to grow your business, you struggle to convert traffic into sales or turn website visitors into buyers, and you want to like have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store, strategy, offer, marketing, sales, and anything else you need, then I would like to invite you to apply for my Get Conversions program, where I show you how to remove the guest work out of growing your Shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit. It's a application-only program. To apply, go to my website klauslauter.com to learn more. And finally, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I would be grateful if you would leave a quick, honest rating and review over at Apple iTunes. It's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with the podcast. Thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break.